welcome my topic of my seminar is introduction of pulse and uh, examples here we are discussing about what is the meaning of pulse what is verb packet and uh, some examples let's see what is verb pulses what is meaning what is the meaning of pulse pulse is a disturbance that results in the displacement exists only for a short interval of time it exists only for a short interval of time the main differentiating feature is that the pulse signals persist only for a short duration of time very short duration of time verb pulse is a short non periodic verb formed by a single input of energy verb formed by a single input of energy rather than a continuous or repeated input of energy verb pulse on a string let us consider a long string with a one end fixed to a wall and the other end held by a person the person pulls on the string keep it tight suppose the person snaps his hand a little up and down producing a bump producing a bump through this direction that is a pulse is produced in the string and will travel along the string at a speed of v is equal to root t by mu we can calculate uh, the speed of uh, pulse using this expression v is equal to root t by mu here t is the tension of the string and mu is the mass per unit length of the string is it clear now here we can see the bump t is the tension of the string mu is the mass per unit length of the string in short uh, we can say m by l in this case at any instant only a limited only a limited region of a string is disturbed only a limited region of string is disturbed that is a pulse can be described as wave consisting of a single vibratory disturbance that moves through a medium with a constant amplitude the pulse will continue to travel in this uh, way until it reaches the far end of the string as long as the pulse continues uninterrupted it appears to preserve its shape it appears to preserve its shape its uh, shape will remain constant through the traveling okay then let's see what is wave packet it also called wave train when a disturbance is localized only to a small part only to a small part of the space at a time we say that a wave pulse is passing through that part of the space a wave is the a wave pulse is passing through that part of the space disturbance localized only to a small part of the space so we can say that wave pulse this happens when the source producing the condition of the wave pulse uh, is the disturbance is active only for a short time this uh, the this happens when the source producing the disturbance is active only for a short time but if the source is active for some extended time some 
extend time repeating its motion several times we get verb train or also called verb packet let's see the example let us consider a long string with the one and fixer to a wall and the other held by a person you can imagine the example the person decides to vibrate his hand up and down and up and down 10 times okay 10 times and then stop a verb train consisting of 10 loops consisting of 10 loops will proceed on the string that is if the source is active for some extended time repeating its motion several times we get a verb packet or also called verb train then let us discuss about examples of pulse there are so many examples are uh, in our daily life as well as uh, uh, other physical phenomena pulses are happens in our human body narrow pulses of light are passed down optical fibers for communication purposes for communication purposes uh, the wave pulses are very useful for communication purposes so uh, narrow pulses uh, of light are passed down optical fibers for communication purposes higher data transmission rates require pulses of uh, very short duration higher data transmission rates require pulses of very short duration the pulses are in uh, very short duration so it uh, help for uh, higher data transmission that is for higher data transmission require pulses of very short duration then in electronic circuits electronic pulses of narrow pulse width is generated it is the best uh, example for uh, verb pul- pulses then in pulsed lasers some lasers are there then in pulsed lasers beam propagate in the form of short duration pulses the verb in pulsed lasers beam propagate in the form of short duration pulses this is my seminar hope you are uh, enjoying my seminar so thank you